Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. I'm gonna go ahead and dip this before I start talking. Whew. Okay guys, today is 13 days past sugar. It is also 11 DPO. I'm gonna cover this up. Let's set my timer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, I'm gonna do a really quick recap. I have been trying for another baby for two and a half years. We've had four losses. Um, this is cycle number 10 since my most recent loss. Clomid round two, and I had my first trigger shot this month. Okay. Last night, <clears throat> I had a very faint line on my test. The night before, there was no line. But I'm wondering if there was no line because it may have been some kind of like faulty test because the control line is also lighter on that test than some of the other tests. I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up that I'm pregnant for sure. I've had way too many disappointments, chemicals, um... Just all of the above. <laughs> My I didn't ovulate. Just you name it. I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Okay. Uh, today, it is like 1 o'clock in the afternoon right now. And I've been testing a few hours later, like in the later in the day, hoping my HCG would be more out of my system from the trigger shot. But today, I couldn't do that because one of my kids has a doctor's appointment and then we have soccer practice. So I had to do it earlier today, which I didn't want to do, but I had no choice. So, um, where was I going? My phone just dinged and it made me lose my concentration. I'm gonna put it on vibrate. Oh, I called my doctor's office this morning and the nurse was all excited on the phone because I told her I had a faint positive. She asked my other nurse who is more experienced than her, if by yesterday, 12 days past sugar, if the HCG should be out of my system. Um, and she said, yes, it should be. And she said, well, Ryan has a faint positive on her, a faint line on her test. So they were both very hopeful. But I told them, I said, I'm not getting my hopes up. So they're having me come in in two days on, what is today? On 12 DPO. Yes, today is 11 DPO. No, it'll be 13 DPO. 12, 13. On 13 DPO um, for an HCG draw, for a blood draw. I did this last month, but last month, um, I didn't test. I stopped testing when they tell me I was coming in for a blood draw because I wanted to give myself some hope. Well, this time I'm, I'm going to test because I've already done the, you know, tested out my trigger. So I'm not going to stop testing. Um, I'm so nervous right now. I can't even think. Um, so she also called me on some progesterone suppositories because the ones I had in my fridge were expired. I looked last night, should have called yesterday, but I didn't think, you know, I just want to have them just in case, just in case this is a positive or even for next month, you know, if I do another round of Clomid which if this is a failed month, we are going to do another round. Um, but I want to have them here anyway. So she called those into the pharmacy, the progesterone suppositories. So 
<clears throat> I don't know if this is gonna be positive. I don't know if there's gonna be a line. I can't tell. Like, I feel like I'm having some symptoms, but a symptom spot. I think everybody does in this two week wait. So, I mean, just the slightest cramp or, you know, nauseating feeling. I'm like, oh, that could be it. But then again, I, like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm a realistic person. <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm a realistic person. Like, I'm well aware of the disappointment that this could bring. So, surely by now, that trigger shot is out of my system. It is 13 days past trigger. And I don't know if y'all want to look at this line again, but I'm going to show it again because now all the tests are dried. So I'm going to show you, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but 11 days past sugar and 12 days past sugar, the last two tests, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the second to the last test was where I thought it disappeared and I don't see a line. And then the bottom one is from last night where I have a faint line. I hope you can see that. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm very sorry. Okay, guys. It has been five minutes. I am praying with everything that I have that there is going to be a line on this test. If there's not, we will move on to next month. Or, you know, there could be one there tomorrow. Okay. Let's do this. Sorry, I've been talking so much and rambling. I am just nervous. Nervous. Okay. Okay. There's a lot. Okay, sorry guys, uh, <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. I had to catch my breath there. Okay. So there's definitely a line. I am trying so hard to be still. It doesn't look, I'm still not going to get my hopes up because I'm going to hold this up for y'all. I'm going to look. Whew, I still can't get, take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. So the one that I just took is fresh. So obviously it's going to be darker. But the question is, when it dries, is it going to be darker? And I don't know if it's going to be darker. And I've had three chemicals. It's very possible to have another. Also, I mean, <clears throat> some places say it takes 14 days for the trigger to get out of your system. So this could still be the trigger. Um, also, it's not been a full 24 hours since this 10 DPO test. There's many options, but the good thing is that there, there is a line. I about had a little panic attack over it. I apologize for that. 
I have not had a positive pregnancy test in a very, 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 very long time. One that was a real positive, which is, I'm hoping what this is. Okay, I don't know if I test again tonight. If I do, I will get back on here. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with a darker test. Send some prayers my way. See you next time.